Okay, everybody. I'm, I've got um, I've got Mike from Maine, and uh, Mike has been in the product creation game for a little while, and um, he kind of came out of of doing a podcast, and we want to talk to him a little bit about that. And uh, Mike, welcome. Hey, Charles. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Yeah, man. Um, you, you know, you you, uh, you came out of of you were doing the uh, your video cast, you're doing your show. Mm -hmm. And I want you to go back to that time when you decided when you were doing the show, because you'd been doing some affiliate promotions. What kind of drove the decision, okay, you're going to create your own product? What, what, what kind of drove that decision at that point? Well, initially, when I first start, like, got started in affiliate marketing, I, I did the opposite of what many people are told to do. Many people, they say, okay, if you want to do affiliate marketing, you need to create a product first so you can build right. an email list of buyers, and then you can take that email list and start uh, suggesting different uh, softwares and information products uh, that are related to what you have sold yourself. And it, it's a great model. It works. However, for the, the newer marketer, the, pro, the idea of going out and creating your own product, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big mountain to climb. And even now, when, when, when I'm creating products, it's, it, it, can be a little, like, it, it can be a little bit of a pain. Like, it, it's, yeah. it's not easy uh, to, to put out a high-quality uh, product. But anyways, I, I started out doing the affiliate thing, and uh, I was still able to build up an email list uh, through multiple methods, whether it was buying traffic or uh, getting a, a, uh, an email opt-in in someone's download area on, on a product that I was promoting. But it wasn't fast enough, and, and I ended up making contacts by helping people first, by being an affiliate marketer first, uh, and, and asking people how I could help them first. When I went into creating products myself, it was much easier to reach out to these people and ask them to promote for me because I had already promoted for them. Now, maybe right. I, I hadn't sent them a million sales, but... That really didn't matter. I, I think the the fact that my initial contact with these people was a uh, not a not a, a request from them to get something from them, but a, a request to give something to them, that really changed the the structure of of the relationship and made it so that I had a really easy pathway into getting in there to to creating a product and to getting people to promote and drive traffic to it. Yeah, right on. Did you feel ready at that point when you put that product out there? Because I know you were teaching somebody, and sometimes when you when you go from coming from behind the desk and you decide I'm going to teach somebody a method, did you really feel ready? Like this is really going to be something that people can actually do. My first product that was like a, a launch was back in, I want to say it was in 2013, in summer of 2013. Mm -hmm. And I'd gone out and I'd interviewed, I'd interviewed 12 people about launching products because I wanted to learn about right. how to launch products. So I interviewed them and I packaged it up as a, as a product. Uh, it, it did maybe 200 sales and maybe $2,000, $3,000 in, in sales. So it was a very small product launch. Uh, did I feel ready for it? No. Um, I, I felt scared. I, I was excited at the same time. But if I hadn't done that, if I hadn't put out that first product that was, uh, I mean, 200 sales might sound like a, for some people that might sound like a failure, to some people right. it might sound like a, a, a big accomplishment. A lot. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was at the time. For me, like, I, I wasn't. I wasn't too depressed about it. I was like, okay, at least at least we made some sales. But if I hadn't gone out there and released that first product, I would never have gone on uh, in the following year to put out a product that de that then did fifty thousand in sales. And then the following spring, I did. I was involved in a product that did two hundred, and then my two hundred thousand in sales. And my my biggest product launch so far. Uh, was last summer where we put out a product that did three hundred thousand dollars in sales in three days. So uh, I think that if if anything, if anyone out there is thinking about putting out their first product and you're scared about it, just think of it as a trial run. Think of it as just learning the, the basics of it. Uh, know that you're not you're probably not gonna. The odds are against you that you're probably not going to go out there and have a six-figure launch on the first mm -hmm. time you put out a product. The, the odds are, are stacked against you on that. Uh, but it, at least you're going to get that first one out of the way, and you, you can leave room for, for bigger and better product, uh, projects in the future. Mm -hmm. You moved from information 
to software. I want you to talk about that um, that transition because I know people can kind of visualize. Well, yeah, I know how to put out an information product, but then the whole software uh, uh, game seems like it's a bit of a graduation. So, how did you come to to kind of make that leap? I still love information products, uh, but I, in software by itself can sometimes feel a little bit naked. So what, mm -hmm. what I love to do and what's worked for me is the combination of both information and software together. So you in, instead of, I mean, you're obviously going to give a manual on how to use whatever software it is, but yep. instead of just saying, here's a software, good luck, go ahead and, and use it, you say, well, I'm going to give you both the tools and the training in order to, to achieve this. And the perceived value in that just goes way up in the eyes of the customer. When going out and reaching out to affiliates, uh, you've got uh, affiliates that are used to, to promoting training products. You've got uh, affiliates that are used to, to promoting software. You can get both of them to be interested in this because you can say to them, well, you know, it has this in it as well. And, and it, well, oh, I only promote training. Well, look, we, we have this, this, this whole section on, on training in here. And they, and they get excited about that too. Uh, I had a guy reach out to me the other day and he wants to release an information product and it's, it's a good product, but it's in my eyes, the value in it that the market is right. probably going to see is, is more of a seven to nine ninety seven, maybe $17 product. He wants to sell it at 27. And I'm thinking to myself, I, I, I can't, I can't bring this to, to bigger affiliates right. and, and ask them to promote this when you have such a, a lower price point and a lower perceived value. But if they were to take that, and they were to add on the software to it and make the software make sense. I'm not just saying like tack on a piece of software to it. I'm saying right, right. make something that makes sense. Uh, that that will make the value go up. So my my graduation to software, uh, it wasn't really a conscious effort to graduate to software. Uh, however, the, the 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 money's better. The the perceived value's better. And if you can partner up with the right people, I'm not a software developer. Uh, I have a, I have a partner in in any software launch that I do I partner up with someone to do it, uh, and, and that's that's been a key thing for me because if I was to go out there and start learning how to how to do software, yeah, I I it would never happen. You know, one of the questions I get a lot is Charles, I don't know anybody, and I think people they they understand right that the that that one of the best ways to kind of to, to graduate, as you said, is to partner with somebody. But 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 how do you come to get to know those people? Now, you had some contacts before, right? You started this process. I think the best way to meet people is to come at them from a, from a point of giving and not receiving. If the first contact that you have with someone is, hey, come and promote my product, it, it's going to be it's going to be a hard a hard sell because they don't mm -hmm. know you they have no idea if you are a scammer they have no idea if if you are someone that's to be trusted uh, they have no relationship with you it's like someone someone comes to you on the street and asks you uh, no one's vouching for you it's it, it, it's a hard it's a hard wall to to get over there uh, the best way I found and and you do this as well is to do is to interview people if you reach out to if you reach out to someone and ask them for an interview I've got an interview later on today with uh, with two people actually I've got two interviews with two people that are very small affiliate marketers they're not going to send me a million sales but uh, they're they're putting out the effort to to do an, inter an interview and I'm gonna I'm gonna give my time because I know what it was like when I was first starting and right, yeah. <laughs> and I want to I want to give them that time and give them that chance uh, but they're that's the kind of thing that you need to do. Go out there, interview people. If you if you reach out to me and you say, "Hey, Mike, I want to pick your brain for an hour, and I want to get all to like tell me all your secrets and stuff," <laughs> I would be like, uh, "Sorry, I'm watching the the new Fuller House show or something like that." I I don't know. But if if you say I'm going to interview you and and I see the value in it, that I'm going to get a little bit of publicity, maybe not a ton, maybe like I might get shared with a few people. But it's 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 a good it's good practice to to get interviewed and it's good practice to interview uh, people. Yeah. So so again, if you if you don't know anyone, uh, go out there start start a podcast, start a video show, st uh, interview people. If, if interviewing people scares you, uh, uh, another tactic that I've seen 
people do, and, and it's worked really well, is reaching out to people that are releasing products and asking right. them if they need a testimonial. Uh, a lot of people need testimonials for their sales pages. Uh, go out there, reach out to them, say, I, I see that you have a product coming out. I'd love to help you out by doing a testimonial. You will get responses from people, and they will be they will be happy to uh, to, to do that, and, and you're going to be giving them value. Another great way is if, you, if there's someone that you want to reach out to, Let's say you wanted to reach out to me and you wanted you wanted to get on my radar. Uh, you go out there, buy one of my products, just right, like a seven dollar right. product. You don't have to buy like my two thousand dollar coaching program or whatever. Go out there, buy one of my products, go through it, take some action on it, get a, get some results. Because if the person that you're reaching out to is a is a good person, then whatever training and whatever whatever they're teaching, whatever they're doing, you should be able to get some results with it. Or else, yep. I would say don't reach out to that person because they're just <laughs> taking your money. Um, and just get some results. You don't have to be making ten thousand dollars a month or anything with it. Just like if they teach you how to build an email list or something, build an email list of ten people and say, hey, this really works. Thanks. And, yeah. and send them an email, they will respond to you. This is the kind of stuff like we love as product creators, we love it when we when we see that people are are using our tools and using our training. Just today I had a really nice feeling. Uh, Han Fan, uh, the internet man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Han Fan was using my software uh, in his in his promotion today that that, that we're going to be releasing. He was using I was like, "Oh, cool. We've got Han who does who's a, a big affiliate marketer." Is using this. Austin Anthony just sent me a message. He's using the my software in his promotion, right. and he got amazing results with it. Like that's that's cool. And if you go out there and you do the same thing and, and reach out to people, you'll get on their radar and in a good way, not in a in a way of hey, what what can you give to me? No, that's cool. So now tell us about this. You've got something coming up uh, pretty soon. You got something come up uh, tomorrow, which is Friday. Um, what 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 is it? Tell us about it. Uh, sure. A long story short, uh, I'm sure you guys will, will end up going and, and seeing the sales page. It, it's a it's a more visual thing. Uh, it's about video. Um, it, it's 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 a way. It's a tool that my partner Brett Ritecki and I created in order to make more money from traffic. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it's in in a nutshell, it's a way of putting a video on someone else's sales page when you're promoting them as an affiliate and also using the power of scarcity and bonuses. And we give, uh, we have videos that are done for you in there for people that don't like doing videos and we've got the ability that you can do a live Google Hangout if you want to. Uh, you can share your screen or you can be on, on the screen and answering people's questions on a sales page and increase your conversions there. But we found that there, there was a problem with the way that people were promoting stuff. They would have a bonus page, yep. and yep. bonus pages are great for increasing conversions like because it warms up your audience. Uh, if you just send people directly to a sales page, sometimes they forget where they came from, they don't know what's going on, and they whenever people get confused, <laughs> they click out. Well, with this, right. you can actually send a video with you. You could do a review video. You could put an interview. You could do just a video saying, hey, uh, I've got some bonuses for you if you purchase this through my link, et cetera, et cetera. And the point of it, I always tell people, I don't care what a tool does, what a software does. Well, all I care about is the results that it gets. And, and the results that this gets is it makes you more money from the traffic that you're already sending. Now, if you right. say to me right now, Charles, oh, Mike, I don't have any traffic. I don't like uh, this is this is like only for guys like you that have that have big email lists. I would say no. If you have small amounts of traffic, if you if you've got ten clicks that you can send, you better be making sure that those ten. You want to make the most happen. of it, exactly. You want right. to make the most of those. So instead of making one or two sales, what if you could be making four or five sales from from that same traffic, and then you can take that money, invest it back in your business, build a bigger email list, build a bigger Facebook page, whatever you're doing. Uh, if you're doing a podcast, invest in advertising for your podcast. Just having that extra money coming into your business always gives you more of uh, more tools, more resources to grow. So, I mean, that's the that's the gist of it. There's a lot more going on there. That we, we can put scarcity bars on. You can put video scarcity bars on pages. Um, it's a, it's a self-hosted uh, program, so you don't have to own a website. You don't need to have any experience. Uh, we also have – it's a software and it's a training, just like I was, what I was talking about before, mm -hmm. where uh, we have training on how to, on how to get free traffic. Uh, we have training on how to do uh, paid traffic, stuff that we are doing ourselves. Uh, I just recently did Facebook lead ads. Uh, if any of you have, maybe you've, you've experienced that when you right, on yeah. Facebook, you know, it was first on mobile, now it's on desktop. You go in there and you, you 
someone has an ad, you click on it, and you don't even have to put in your email. You can automatically get put on an email list. I've been doing that myself, gotten some really awesome results, leads as low as 13 cents in the internet marketing niche using that. Really powerful. I teach that also inside of there, but of course, there's free methods. Everyone loves free methods. I love free methods. Right. <laughs> I'm, 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 a, I'm a cheapo sometimes as well when it comes to that. But um, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the software in a nutshell. Yeah, 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 and because that that whole process of sending people to a bonus page is kind of like um, I don't know, it's like religion for us, mm -hmm. and and it doesn't necessarily always work. And I guess if you can get people closer to the offer, and yet at the same time you can warm them up, you're gonna have probably a, a, you won't get that effect where people drop off someplace between the bonus page and the actual offer. Let me explain it this way: if you've got if if you send let's say you send a hundred people, 100 clicks, to a bonus page, and of those 100 people, 50 of them click the link below to go on to the sales page. So what's happened here is you've sent 100 clicks, and you've warmed, you've warmed those 50 people up. You've increased your right. conversions because they have seen that page, but those, those 50 people go on, and, and maybe a, a percentage of them buy. Let's say right. two of them buy right. from, the, right. from the sales page. Well, if you had sent those 100 people directly to the sales page and you had a way of still being able to warm them up, uh, you're going to make more money by doing that. Now, this isn't something that's theoretical. Brett actually tested this with larger amounts of traffic and he found that your uh, conversions would go down a little bit because those those bonus pages warm people up. There's, there's a reason behind it. But overall sales, overall dollars made is higher by using video takeover and sending them directly to the sales page and having a video on the page either uh, the, the best way you could do is to do a review or to do a video saying, hey, I've got these cool bonuses for you. Check these out. If you purchase them through my link, you're going to get them. You can do the same thing with that uh, and make more money from it. Again, I really want to point out that uh, what I said before about how I, I I don't care what softwares do. I don't, it, they're, they're just tools. Right, but right, right. I care about the results. I want to make more money and do less work. Yep, yep, right on. Well, everybody, you can actually go over and get this. It's at, uh, I'm going to make this available at GameMindShare.com forward slash video. And if you go over there and check that out, you'll be able to see uh, this for yourself. And I'll actually add a few things in there for you. Mike, um, I re appreciate your, your perspective on product creation and like everybody else your your journey was different and I think probably one of the most important things that you said is really being ready to do first in order to give first mm -hmm. you know before you before you start asking for something exactly give first ask second yeah right on Mike uh, thank you again uh, for, for, for coming out and every wish you well on the launch and uh, hope to hope you have you back uh, soon thanks man I appreciate it yep right on